In this video, we're going to focus on how we can play around with these buttons here to update the chart and show the appropriate values of the time or day, month, and year. So let's start to look how to use the time scale with buttons so we can filter out, for example, day, month, week, year. So to do this, first of all, we have to convert this into our item or into a line chart with the proper scale. First of all, make sure you get the border template, which you can find here on chartgs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code. Of course, if you want the source code of this video, check out my Patreon page and join the Discord channel for any questions. So let's start to work on converting this into a line chart. Save that, refresh, there we are. Next, what we want to do is we want to split this out because we need to convert this into a proper data structure that will support the uh, the numbers of the time scale. So what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to say here curly braces, for curly brackets, and then we're going to say here x new date, let's create a date. This date will be specifically on the x scale, while this label here, we're going to hide them because this is not necessary. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to select a date, October the 27th, and then we're going to say a time as well, zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds. For the Y scale, I'll just give this a value of number three. And what I will do is I just copy this a few more times. Comma, paste, comma, paste, comma, paste. All right, we have five items here. What I will do here, this one will be, let's make another time, one hour, two hour, but this one will be 28. And this one, we just put it ahead of time. Let's say um, uh, we can do this maybe the 27th, but next year. That's That makes more sense. Then I'm going to say here, six, three, six, and nine. If I save this refresh right now, it will not understand what's going on. So what we have to do here now is to make the scale proper. So we're going to go down here and say on the X scale, we're going to change an item. So what I want to do here is I'll say here the type and the type will be time. By doing this, we need to add up the time adapter because right now that's missing. So we go in here in chartjs.org, click here on ecosystem. And then once we did that, scroll down here, look for the adapters and we're going to look for the date FNS adapter which supports the date and time. So I'm going to scroll down here and I will just copy this link here. Copy this, this bundle date FNS and uh, what is that? The date FNS adapter. So I'm going to scroll up. I'll just put that in there. Save that. Refresh. Now it starts to work already. It already understands what to do and put in the values as you can see here. So what I want to do now is um, specify this more specifically. So we're going to say here the time, because we're allowed to do this because we have now the time object activated. We'll say here the unit, we can say the unit will be day. Save that, refresh, and now it breaks it down on daily basis, but of course it cannot show everything because we have a, a value spread over a year. So what we could say here is if I say hour, save that, refresh, this, doesn't work really because we need to have a min value as well. So we could say here the min value would be, let's grab this and, or more even specifically, we could do a min value of like that. And then the max value, if I want to do with the hours, it could be till 28. So it will restrict the values here, as you can see. Now I start to restrict it. Of course, you can play around with this. What I will focus on for now is more on how do we change the dates underneath here or the time values. So to do this, we're going to add up here some buttons. I'm going to add up here a button. And I'm going to say this button has an on click. And when we click on this button, we want to trigger a function we call the date filter function or something like that. Anything you can give it any name. And then what I want to do here is this will be let's say hour and then this value will be hour as well we're going to grab that like or we put in that argument in there and i'm going to copy this and we say here for the hour we have now here day we have here a month we have to do this in small letters that's very important and here we have year here we do year 
month and day. If I save this, refresh, we have the buttons. Of course, the buttons don't work yet. So let's start to copy this and put a function in here. We can just put it here up. And then we're going to say function. And we have this item here. And this will be just the time parameter. Whatever we click on, it will grab that one. It will be hour, day, week, or month, or year, any of these values. So what I want to do here is basically update this specific item here to do this what i can do here is say i go from my chart dot config dot options dot scales dot x dot time dot unit and then the unit will be whatever the time unit we have assigned to it based on the on the click once we did that i'm going to say my chart dot update and then it will update this nicely let's save that refresh all right so now if i click on day month year you can see it will start to work nicely of course you need to check and play around with the min and max value that will probably be in here as well to make it look more appropriate but the foundation is this structure here 